On the University of Maryland campus, there is a place more neglected and barren than nearly any other place on campus. I call it the lot. Roughly 50 feet wide and 100 feet long, it is a sizable piece of land. Yet it currently has no sense of place and serves only as a pedestrian thoroughfare. And a depressing one at that. To its west, there is green space with a path, trees, and picnic tables. Further north, there is a turf field, volleyball courts, and basketball courts. Nearby sits the Epley Recreation Center. Directly adjacent sits the Cambridge community, home to College Park scholars. This community is anchored by Cumberland Hall, which sits directly north of the lot. The community features green space with trees on gentle slopes, as well as tables interspersed generously throughout the area. But there is little in the form of flowers or more uplifting landscaping. The space is not some secluded parcel of land on the edge of campus. Thousands of people pass by this point every week on their way to and from the diner or on their journey to and from class. As they make their way, they are greeted by a dumpster, a dirty path covered in mud after storms, and of course, desolate as ever, the lot. But there is reason for hope. If we can take an area that used to look like this and make it look like this, then I believe we can take this lot and make it into the Cambridge Community Garden. Through a tiered garden approach, this area can become a defining location for the Cambridge community and could even be integrated into the scholars' learning and living curriculum. By planting native plants, flowers, and crops, we can engage the community and make what used to look like this into a place that the people of the University of Maryland truly care about.